I've gotten questions about a particular error um, and how we go about dealing with it and confusion around what it actually means. So the error in question here is what we see on the screen. Um, it's when we go to either test a connection for scheduled data refresh or we actually run the schedule refresh, we end up seeing an error that says, sorry, the data source for this data connection isn't registered for Power BI. The confusion about this comes into play where we think that we've set up the data source correctly within the Power BI Admin Center, um, where in actuality we may not have. And so I wanted to talk about how we actually determine which data source that's defined in Power BI Admin goes with the connection for what we're trying to do schedule refresh against. And there are misconceptions about how that actually works. You'll notice on the screen that there's nowhere that you actually select hey, use this data source in Power BI for this connection. Um, it happens under the hood, and uh, I want to talk about what that actually does. So first off, let's go take a look at our workbook. And one thing we can see first off is we want to determine the connections that are in the workbook itself. Um, we saw on the data or on the schedule refresh screen that there was only one connection. So let's go look at that. And if we see that, we see my cube, and we can edit that. If we go to definition, we can see that there is a connection string here, and um, it's going out to a data source of cube 1433, um, and it looks like we're using SQL Server Native Client 11, which comes with SQL 2012. And you'll also notice that the connection information here is grayed out. If the connection information here is grayed out, um, you'll also see connection type is model OLEDB query. That means that this connection was defined with inside a power pivot. So let's go take a look at that. Go to manage. We'll click existing connections here. And we can see the same item. And if we go to edit, we can see the same information, right? But here's actually where the information is stored. Um, and we can see the server name. We can see the database name. Everything's great. All right. So now let's go take a look at our data source that's with inside of Power BI Admin Center. And so we can see here that we have one that's called MyCube. And if we go to edit, whoop, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, go to edit. Let's go to connection info. And we'll scroll down so we can see. All right, so we've got a name here. The name of the data source is called MyCube. We can see here for connection properties that the connection provider is SQL Server Native Client 11, and the server name is MyCube, and the database is AdventureWorks 2014. Here's where some of the confusion comes in. I've had people tell me that they think, or they thought, that because the name of the data source matches the name of the connection, here, friendly connection name, matches the data source name, that it should be able to find this data source. We actually don't use the name of the data source in the matching uh, between the data source and the workbook itself. Um, the name is just a friendly name. You can call it whatever you want. Um, they, do not mat they don't need to match uh, between the workbook and the data source. What it really comes down to are three things. One is the provider, the server name, and the database. Those three have to match. Um, and to make this a little clearer, we can click on connection string. And you can see here in the connection string that we see provider, we see data source, and we see initial catalog. So provider is the SQL NCLI 11, which is SQL native client, uh, SQL server native client 11. Uh, data source is the server name. And then initial catalog is AdventureWorks 2014, or the database name. And so this has to match the workbook here. Uh, let's go back to so if we look at that let's grab the browser put them side by side okay so these two items have to match um, there's no that that's how we match these things so the server name needs to be the same, the provider needs to be the same, and the initial catalog needs to be the same. Um, we base it off of the connection string. The connection string for the data source has to match the connection string in the workbook. 
if they don't match, then we get the error that we saw before where it says, you know, you can't, you know, we couldn't find the data source for this data connection because there was no connection string here that matched what was in the workbook. Okay, so what can we do here? Let's go back. And so one thing we know is that server name here is not correct. So this is my cube where it was, it was cube 1433 in the workbook. So let's change that. We'll have to set credentials again. This connection should work. Good. All right. Okay, so we've updated our data source with the server that matches the workbook. And if we go back to here, if we do test connection again, this should work. And it did. And then we can go ahead and save and refresh report. And if we go back to history, it should show that it's running. And then the schedule refresh at this point should succeed. So we just need to be very specific and uh, very intentional about the connection string itself. We need to be aware of what that connection string is within the workbook, and we need to know what that connection string looks like for the data source that's going to match. Um, those two have to match up in order for there to be a link between them. In order for Power BI to say, yes, use this data source, it's all about the connection string. Um, now you may be asking, like, well, okay, you put the name of the connection into the server name and it actually worked. I would probably think in most cases the actual name of the connection, like the friendly name for that connection within the workbook, is probably not going to align to an actual server name in your network or in your environment uh, locally. Uh, but there is a possibility that it could match. So like in this case the connection name itself actually matched a name on the network and it was able to, con it was a database server there and it actually connected. Um, I would say that's extremely rare, and so you may hit uh, issues there when you're trying to set up the uh, the actual um, the actual data source itself when you're trying to set credentials. Like that may not actually work for you, so that should be your first clue. Uh, but in general, uh, just stick to the provider name, the server name, and the database name, and those matching should get you up and running um, to get this to work correctly. All right, and we can see that the scheduled refresh did actually succeed here, and so everything's good to go at this point. So if you do hit that error, uh, just validate your connections between the workbook and the data source and make sure those line up, and that should hopefully correct the issue. That error is very specific. Um, it's how we match the data source to the connection, so something there is probably wrong, and you should validate it. All right, thanks for watching.